Hello, Elementor friends! This is Catherine from Ellie Web Dev, short for Elementor Website Development. This channel is normally dedicated to beginners and intermediates, but today we're going to do a little advanced stuff, and that advanced stuff I like to call Geek Time, because we're dig digging deep into some code and we're going to be manipulating some files and uh, we're going to be adding the media library to the finder and it takes a lot of effort to do just a simple little thing which i wish elementor would add the media library to the finder but we're just going to roll up our sleeves and do this today Alrighty, so you can see um, the little geek right there so that warns you any future videos you see a geek in the top corner that means we're doing advanced things boys and girls so it's either going to go over your head or you're going to pay attention. So let's get started. Alrighty. So I am going to get to my back end of my website and I have my themes page pulled up. And if we take a look at what themes I have installed, the only theme that I ever use is hello, but we need to add a child theme because if we add the code to hello, the code that we need to add to make the media finder work, uh, the media library work in the finder. Let me get my words right. Um, every time that Elementor makes updates to the hello theme, your code will be not there anymore because it will override it. So what we need to do is to install a child theme in order to make sure that the functions.php file we put in there stays there. Okay, just follow along. We'll do this together. So the first place we need to go is we need to go to this place called GitHub. And GitHub, HTTPS, github.com slash Elementor slash Hello Theme Child. If you don't remember that, just Google Hello Child Theme and it will bring you to this page. Alrighty. So we need to come over here to this code button, the green code button, and I've already clicked it, so it's right here waiting for you to download the zip file. And this will give you the child theme for hello. So I've already downloaded it and I've saved it to my computer. So I'm going to go back to my themes in appearance and themes, and I'm going to add a new theme. And I'm going to actually upload one because I just downloaded one. So on my computer, I'm going to find that file and I'm going to grab it and I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it onto, if I can, yes, I can, right here. Sorry, there's a delay. And I'm going to drag and drop it right onto this choose file button. And now it says hello theme child master.zip. So I'm going to hit install. And that will install the child theme. Now, once we have it installed, we want to activate it. And look right here, there's a little link that says activate. So I'm going to activate that. And now our hello child theme is installed and it is activated. And it is the theme we're using. Wonderful, wonderful. Now we're going to roll up our sleeves and we're going to get into some code. All right. Now I am using local WP and I can't help you if this is your um, live site on a production site on a server. But let me just tell you how you're going to get to the files. You need to find your functions.php file. Okay, boys and girls, just hold on. I know this is tough. This is advanced stuff, but we're going to do it. All right. So for me, this is how I do it. All right. So I'm going to come into my computer and I'm going to look for on my computer, my local files, my local sites. Why? Because I'm going to pull this open right over here because I have local WP installed. Let me just bring that forward. Here is local WP. This is what I use 
to test and teach with to create an environment on my computer that is safe and I have multiple sites running multiple copies of WordPress and Elementor. I can spin up and start another one and this is the site that I'm running right now which is test site 2. So this is what I'm using as my environment for WordPress and Elementor. All right. So what I've done is I've gone to my, hold on, let me just click some files. Yes, I knew that was going to happen. All right, here we go. Um, so what I've done is I've gone to my local computer. I have found the place where local builds all of its sites. And I need to go into the folder. Now, when you are on your web hosting provider, you need to explore the files of the site and get into the files. If you know what you're doing, if you don't know what you're doing, then um, yeah, this may not be the tutorial for you. But you need to find your site files. And when you find your site files, for me, there's going to be an app because this is a local app. I need to go to WP Content. And I know this window is small, but you don't need to see anything else. Um, I need to go to Themes. And here is Themes. And in the Themes folder, you'll need to look for the Hello Theme Child Master. And inside of the Hello Theme Child Master folder, you're going to see a functions.php file. Um, so what I'm going to do, this is going to be scary, but I need to edit this file. And what I'm going to use, because I am a developer, I'm going to use... Uh, VS Code. So I'm going to right click open with Visual Studio Code. If you're a coder, this is just the app that you use, piece of software that you use to edit code files. So here we go. Here it comes. All right. So here's our functions.php file. This is the file you need to add code to. Now, if you go to my website, and I was not prepared for this, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, I need to just pull this out of the way. Mm -hmm. So let me just minimize this because we need to go find the code that you need to add. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type lewebdev.com slash, what did I call that file? I put it in the video and it's called media finder. Yes, media dash finder and hit enter please go to the right page yes here we are here we are at ellie web devs website and media finder it's media dash finder is the file and i give you all the instructions how to download get the L, uh, the hello child theme um, and when we're done this is what's going to happen we get the media listed and here it is this is what we need to copy. Use the copy button right here. And I'm going to copy the code, which I just did. And I'm going to go back to the window. Mm -hmm. My functions.php file. Yep, there it is. Hold on just a second. There we are. So back at your functions.php file, go to the very end of the file, add a couple of spaces, and I'm going to hit Command V. And this is the code that you need. Add media library to the Elementor finder. Place this code at the bottom of the child theme functions.php file. All right, I'm going to hit save. So we save the functions.php file with our new code in it. So now I can close VS Code and I can go back to our site. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a hard refresh. You hear me say this a lot of times. It's Command Shift R or Control Shift R on a Windows machine and in the Chrome browser, and that reloads the site. So if I now go to a page, any page, it doesn't matter, open link in New Tab, and I go to the home page, edit with Elementor in a new tab. And if we go to the home page, and I'm just going to hit a hard refresh just for, you know, posterity here and I'm going to hit update and now if I hit command E 
and I type in media, there is the media library. So if I hold command and click, or simply just right click and open in new tab, I now have the media library. I can jump to the media library very quickly. And so y'all uh, advanced and intermediate users, let's make a stink. Please tell them to add the media library to the finder because it's a wonderful thing. Thank you.